the lands cleansed of the shadows. Cethric's reign of living death is over. Your courage has been tested, and in this, at least, you have triumphed. Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Wern's Rock is secure, and preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord, but there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Ketherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to peel you. To split your skin. To see your skull shine in the light. Little tyrant. <sighs> Lucky for you, I harvested a whole family of living flesh in Rivington at High Sun. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. Oh, but tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, tomorrow my blades will thirst again Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence, one sleep away. 